Hello, good people. We have book mail. Very, very recently, I read, um, what's it called again? The Folk of something, something. Um, I read the Cruel Prince series. It's not called the Cruel Prince. It's called the Folks of, I don't know, Air and Water? I don't know. I recently finished that and uh, I want more. I want more. Um, so I have the what's gonna call it? The like, no, the sequel. Um, the stolen air is that the one? The one that just came out like in the beginning of January. Um, I have that on the way. However, before I read that, there's a different series, which I can't remember what it's called. But they recently got new covers. So the only like availability, available book that I've been able to get of that series is it's, it's a bind up. And I don't mind a bind up per se, but I prefer like individual books. And they've had individual books and I think the covers were like black or something. However, They've recently re-released them with new covers, which is this package. Um, I do want to complain about this though. It came delivered like that. I mean, it's a good thing I had no small objects in this and it was just books that, as far as I can see from the hole, hasn't been damaged. Um, anyway, let's open this bad boy up and um, take a look at the new covers which hopefully is where we want them so yeah 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 so we have tithe yeah i kind of like it it's so skinny it's it's hilarious um which is the second one the second one is valiant Ooh, ah. <laughs> and then we have ironside so a modern fairy tale i think that's what the this series is called kind of oh would you look at that oh hang on yeah the modern fairy tales that's what it says down there can you tell look it forms a thingy Ooh, i do like when um the spines uh make up a object like this it's just cool anyway um i know nothing about this series except it's a fae fairy series by holly black and what I've heard is this. Uh, so presumably it's like a prequel, but not really to the Cruel Prince one. What is that series called? It's like folk of something, something. Anyway, um, but we will be following different characters in each book, as far as I can tell. And it's, yeah, it's set way before the Cruel Prince ones. Um, I think that's everything I know, or well, no, that's everything I've heard. I've also heard that people like this series less than the other one, so we'll see, we'll see. I'm excited. I mean, they're like, they're not very chunky ones, so how, how long are they, by the way? Let's see, 245. Two thirty-five ish, two fifty, so about five seven hundred fifty-ish pages. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. So I'll uh, check back when you, when you, when I've read some of. Let's see, which is the first one? This. That was very bright. Right, first one, tight, tight, tight. 
one of them. <laughs> so we uh, follow this girl called Kay and she's she's used to moving around because her mum is, you know, I, I want to say wannabe rock star. Does it say that? Something like that. So something other, uh, other happens and she moves back in with her grandma. She meets her childhood friends again and her childhood friends just happens to be, you know, of the fae variation. <laughs> well, Kay quickly discovers that she may not be who she's always thought she were. And uh, yeah, may hair, may hair, mayhem pursues and uh, yeah, it, I I got sucked into this. Honestly, I right on to book two, which is Valiant, and this one we follow a girl called Valerie, and she kinda 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 she kind of walks in on her mum and her boyfriend going at it. So you know. Obviously, she has a bit of a mental breakdown, shaves her head, and runs away to New York. Because that's what we do. I mean, I don't blame her. <laughs> I really don't. Um, <laughs> I mean, we, we all deal with that kind of thing differently, don't we? But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I'd do exactly that. But mm. anyway, so while homeless in New York, she meets... So new friends, they may not be the best kinds of friends, but she meets them anyway and she kinda, yeah, kinda, what is this well, kinda, uh, she kinda gets involved with the fake community, cause you know, it's the fae, the fae, the fae. This was a very, let's say, druggy book. Because they kind of take this, well, it's a drug to humans, but for, like, for the Fae, it's kind of sort of like a medicine so they can survive the eye inside, the, which is the human world, New York. But for humans, it's very much a drug which um, grants humans certain abilities. Like fey abilities. Yeah, yeah. It was a very different experience from the first one into the second one. I knew we were following like different characters throughout, so it wasn't that weird. But it feels like two completely different like ends. <laughs> it feels like two completely different books. I mean, they are two completely different books, but it feels like two completely different series, I suppose, but it's all in the same universe, it's all in the same city. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm really enjoying this series, I'm not gonna lie. Shall we uh, get on to book number three? Book number three. Ironside. We are back to following Kay and that side of things. So we're back to the same characters as book one. However, we do meet up with some of the characters from book number two. So it's a, it's a mesh of things. So all in all, I'm really, I'm really enjoying how it kind of lines up into something. What does it line up as? I don't know, the crown thing? This was a very interesting series. I mean, it's in the same universe, I suppose, as The Cruel Prince, because they do mention Elfame and those kinds of things. They don't mention characters, I don't think. Like, the characters we know and stuff, but they do mention places and, like, certain rules and stuff. So, in these ones, we have different courts than from Cruel Prince, but it's... Mm, it's so different. It's the same, but it's so different. So this, these ones are very much more on the human side of things, where we we see the human world. <laughs> Whereas in the Cruel Prince, she's gonna jump up again. She's a pain in the ass today. Um, where in the Cruel Prince, we are very much in like the Fey, 
fae world. We do see some of the human side, but very little. But in these ones, we are mainly on the human side. We do enter the court of the fae, see like their revels, their parties and stuff. But yeah. So it's the same kind of deal, but very, very different. These feel much more rougher in a way than Cruel Prince did. Whereas Cruel Prince, we follow just the one character throughout. And these ones we shift between different characters. So we don't ha have like one character in each book. We do switch between different characters in each book. But yeah, I, I really enjoy them actually. They were, they were such a fast, easy read. Definitely, I see... I see the appeal. I know that this series is one people hate more uh, on than The Cruel Prince. I guess I can see why, but also there's not really anything wrong with it. So, yeah. I guess it's all up to taste, like what kind of story-based you like, I suppose. But yeah. Three more books to go on the shelf. Um, I have a feeling Nimue is behind the shelves again. She has been a pain in the ass lately. Um, so she's decided like she gets on here and jumps like on top of my shelves. So she's thrown down some things. I see she's also pushed out some books. Wow, okay. Um, so I need to like... <laughs> I need to reorganize my shelf. I need to reorganize my shelves um, so I can get the books that are like lying on top um, of the stacked ones um, to the very top. Um, and I'm not sure what she's doing right now, but she's shaking the whole shelf. Great. No more. <sighs> yeah. So. Hi. You coming down? You come down. Hi, little girlie. You gonna come down? You're not, are you?